What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Skid Reviews, your place for the latest news, reviews and reactions from comic books, movies, television, games and music. Over the last few weeks there have been a lot of news coming from the two major franchises in the comic book world, DC and Marvel. Of course there are others like Valiant, Dark Horse etc but I'm gonna be focusing on the big two for now. Phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is in active development and we are all super excited for it. The DC Cinematic Universe meanwhile is just getting started and we are well cautiously optimistic. We're gonna be talking about these two universes and figure out how they can progress and before I start don't give me hate about me being biased against one universe over the other universe. This whole Marvel vs DC thing is so fucking stupid. First up for this video is the DCEU or the DC Extended Universe. Now DC started off with the whole cinematic universe thing with uh, Man of Steel. Uh, which was a pretty grim movie. Loads of death and destruction and Superman being a complete badass. Man of Steel was a movie that really divided people within the comic book fandom. Zack Snyder's tone for this movie was well very Zack Snyder-ish and very Watchmen-ish. And that tone carried over to Batman v Superman which was supposed to be the slugfest of the century. While I did not like uh, Man of Steel for several reasons, there were many parts in Batman v Superman that I really enjoyed. Especially the uh, director's cut of Batman v Superman. That was much much better than the one that was released in the theaters. But there are problems, lots of problems with the DCEU. For me, the people at Warner Bros, the people who are actually making the movies are the ones who are most at fault here. I really don't know how much power they have in deciding the tone and story direction of these movies but I can't imagine that it must be a lot because they're Warner Bros. These guys have been making movies for over a hundred years now. And that was really evident in Suicide Squad with all those damn reshoots which no doubt resulted in the crappy editing of the movie. Harley Quinn, nice to meet ya. Love your perfume. What is that? The scent of death? Same with uh, Batman v Superman. If you watch the director's cut of the movie, then you realize how badly edited the uh, theatrical release was. I can appreciate what Warner Bros are trying to do. They don't want to be like the MCU or the Marvel Cinematic Universe and that's okay, that's great. But you don't have to try not to be Marvel. They just need to tell good stories on the screen. And DC and for the most part Warner Bros have failed to do that. Listen, I am a big fan of DC Comics. Batman Year One was the first comic book that I remember reading and reading that comic book opened me up to a whole new universe. Now the DC filmmakers, not the comic book writers, the filmmakers have made it a point to make the DC Cinematic Universe or the DC Extended Universe uh, really dark and really gritty, uh, a universe that reflects modern cynicism and modern realities. Okay, fine, but is that really the best way to introduce uh, a comic book universe to an audience, uh, a part of which uh, has no history in reading comic books and are completely new to the whole comic book genre and the superhero genre? And don't tell me that these movies are being made for solely for comic book fans. Bullshit. Warner Bros. makes these movies for the money. That's it. Yes, these movies should please comic book fans like me, but you have to realize that comic books are a very niche medium. The larger point of comic book movies should be to make people understand that comic books are an art form with obvious entertainment values but also academic and social values which deserves respect and appreciation. Bottom line, these movies should be made uh, in order to get more people into comic books and doing that will be beneficial for both the art and the fandom. Now let's address the tone of the first two DC movies. Man of Steel, grim and dark. Batman v Superman, grim, dark and really tiring. And here we get to what I want DC and Warner Bros to do. Stay true to what Batman, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter and all those wonderful characters are. If you want to do a dark Superman like in the Injustice alternative universe timeline, do it but do it later, not now. Because this is Superman's first gig in building up the DC universe. The DC universe is supposed to be bright and hopeful. Superman is supposed to be the best among us. The only problem with Superman should be that he can do no wrong and that he cannot save everyone. 
that he is incorruptible and that he stands for justice, hope and truth. This may sound childish, old-fashioned and too idealistic, but in the fucked up world that we live in now, we could do with a little bit of idealism. But what about Batman? He's always dark and brooding and he's from the DC Universe. Yeah, he is. And that's what makes him so fucking special. Batman is Batman. There is no one like Batman. I'm Batman. And DC need to stop trying to make every movie a Batman movie. If you do that, you're gonna ruin the entire universe. This point that I'm trying to make is perfectly summed up in the Batman v Superman movie when Perry White says to Clark Kent, this isn't 1938 anymore. So could you if it was 1938, but it's not 1938. Obviously referring to Action Comics number one, which was published in that year. And here, I don't only blame uh, the, the movie makers. I blame us, the audience too. We, the audience, have become such cynical assholes that we cannot allow for a world where Superman as an ideal and symbol for incorruptible good can exist. Yeah, well... You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. What I'm trying to say here maybe is that we're all fucking assholes. That's what we are. <sighs> that felt good. But all is not lost, thankfully. Suicide Squad, uh, despite all its flaws, was a fun movie. And the recent announcements from Warner Bros. and DC have given us something to cling on for. There are reports that Wonder Woman, Justice League, The Flash, Aquaman, etc., are gonna have a gradual shift in their tones. There are inklings that while Batman remains Batman, the DC Universe will allow for a Superman who doesn't look constipated all the time. This is being witnessed in the comic books as well. The new DC Rebirth is going back to the roots of these characters and trying to bring forth the same idealism that made so many kids fall in love with these iconic characters. And can you believe that a Booster Gold movie has been confirmed? I mean, come on, this is Booster Gold. That's gonna be so awesome. These things indicate that the DCEU will have a lot more fun, a lot more hope, and a lot more light. And I'm all for it. DC need to realize that they are so lucky. They have some of the most iconic characters and storylines from comic book history. And if they play their cards right, I can see them doing really amazing things in the future, as long as you don't make Batman kill people again. So there you go, a pretty long rant about the DC Extended Universe, and next time I'm gonna be busting some Marvel balls. Language! So, what are your views on the DCEU and how do you think it should progress? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you wanna see more content, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, I will see ya! <laughs>